Did you know that precise 3D models can save construction projects millions in unexpected costs? But how do you decide how much detail a model really needs? That's where LOD or level of detail comes in. Let's break it down and show you why it matters. Welcome, today we'll deep dive into the concept of level of detail or LOD in 3D models. LOD isn't just about making a model look good, it's about providing the right amount of information at the right stage of a project. Whether you're planning, designing or constructing, selecting the right LOD ensures your team works efficiently without unnecessary costs or delays. Getting the level of detail or LOD right in your 3D model is critical to the success of your project. Choose a level that's too high and you can end up with unnecessary information, costing more money, taking longer to produce and potentially jeopardising your project. On the other hand, not enough detail can leave you without vital information leading to costly mistakes or missed opportunities. In this video, we'll guide you through how to specify the correct level of detail for your project. With the right balance, you'll save time, reduce costs and ensure your scheme runs smoothly from start to finish. Whether you're designing a skyscraper, restoring a heritage building or planning a home renovation, understanding LOD can make all the difference. It determines the amount of detail in your 3D model ensuring you have the right information at the right time. So come on, let's get started. Think of LOD as a zoom function on a map. At its most basic, you're seeing the motorways, big picture stuff. As you zoom in, you see the A roads, then the B roads, then the local roads, then the buildings, and eventually every detail inside of those buildings. LOD ensures that 3D models provide just enough detail without overwhelming the design process. From broad overviews at LOD1 to hyper detailed models at LOD4, each stage serves a specific purpose, planning, visualization, design, construction, documentation. We hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, why not subscribe to our channel? We release new content every week. We started our YouTube channel at the end of 2024 and are looking for 500 followers by the end of this year. Come and join us on the journey. LOD1 represents the most basic level of detail in 3D modelling, focusing solely on the overall shape, size and location of major elements, providing a broad conceptual overview without intricate features or specifics. LOD2 is a basic representation. By LOD2 the focus is on foundational elements of the structure. This includes walls, floors, ceilings, columns, beams, windows and doors. They are represented as simple openings, reflecting only the external reveals. This level is comparable to a 1 to 100 survey and is typically used for planning applications, project visualisations and rights of light surveys. It provides just enough information for broad decision making, but keeps the model efficient and easy to handle. LOD3 is the detailed elements. Moving up to LOD3, we add a higher level of detail. Structural elements are more precise and windows and doors show true style and dimensions. This level also includes fixed furniture such as cupboards, countertops and shelving. Comparable to a 1 to 50 survey, LOD3 is often used for architectural design, construction documentation and more detailed planning applications. It strikes a really nice balance between usability and detail and make it ideal for most project needs. LOD4 is the pinnacle of detail. It represents the most detailed level of modelling available. Here, every structural element, fixture and fitting is included. This includes all door and window details as well as decorative features like skirtings, dados, cornices and intricate architraves. Comparable to a 1 to 20 survey, LOD4 is the go-to choice for heritage, conservation projects, highly detailed architectural applications, or projects where precision is absolutely critical. It ensures every element is captured with exactness, providing unmatched clarity for specific needs. From LOD1 to LOD4, each level serves a specific purpose tailored to the needs of the project. 
whether you're in the early stages or managing a complex heritage restoration, understanding these differences will ensure that you get the right information at the right time. Each LOD offers a unique combination of detail, usability and application. A good surveyor will have the experience to help guide you through the right level of detail for your project's requirements. They can even suggest tailoring the model to your needs. Now let's dive into the individual elements of a building and how their level of detail can be tailored. One of the great things about LOD is its flexibility. Each element from the building, from walls, windows, plumbing and electrical systems can have its own specific LOD. This means your 3D model isn't just a one size fits all, it's highly customizable, allowing you to tailor the LOD to suit your project's needs. So whether you're looking for a broad overview during planning or intricate details for construction, adjusting the LOD for each element ensures the model delivers exactly what is required for you without unnecessary complexity and cost. Starting with walls, at LOD2 these are just structural walls. At LOD3 adds non-structural walls like room partitions and boxing. By LOD4 details include architectural details like dado and picture rails, corniceing and intricate wood panelling. Structural elements form the backbone of any 3D model. At LOD2, these might just show the basic massing. At LOD3, accurate dimensions and beam profiles. And by LOD4, we include details like steel connections and bolts. This level of detail is vital for engineers and contractors to avoid errors during the construction process. Windows and doors again evolve across LODs. At LOD2, they're simple structural openings. By LOD3, dimensions and frame details are added. And LOD4 incorporates glazing types, hardware and operational detail. The higher detail features are essential for energy modelling, compliance with regulation and even for more aesthetic decisions. Stairs and railings start as basic geometric shapes at LOD2. LOD3 adds handrails and stringer details and at LOD4 intricate elements like tread types and handrails are fully modelled. This level of precision ensures safety and compliance and design accuracy. LOD3 provides enough detail to visualise safety features like railings and step sizes, ensuring compliance with the building regs. Loft areas can be complex. At LOD2 they showed a basic layout, modelled from a mast from the external tile to the internal rafter. LOD3 expands on this by including key structural elements and LOD4 captures trusses, beams, profiles and all the primary roof timbers. This detail is especially important for rooftop developments and loft conversions. MEP, Mechanical, Electrical and Plumbing, forms the essential systems that keep a building running and in 3D models having the right level of detail can make all the difference. At lower LODs only major components like HVAC units and risers are included, giving an overview of spatial requirements. Higher LODs add more precise details like pipework, ducting and cable trays and fixings, essential for accurate coordination and class detection. Areas like plant rooms and lift motor rooms require full mass modelling of the large equipment, ensuring that everything fits before installation. To prevent costly delays, any additional MEPs such as switches and sockets should be identified early in the process to ensure that they are accurately represented in the model. Models can extend beyond the building itself to include the topography, neighbouring structures and even underground utilities. This information is invaluable for understanding site constraints and planning landscaping or excavation. Topography captures the surrounding environment. At higher, higher LODs it includes contour lines, elevation points and vegetation details. We can include the underground utilities that are buried on the site. Again, the level of detail varies. Incorporating topography ensures that your design works harmoniously with the natural landscape and surrounding context. Having the utilities mapped into the model allows you to visualise the services below ground in full 3D so you can avoid any nasty surprises when constructing your project. Measured building models start with point cloud data collected on site. This data is then transformed into detailed 3D model tailored to your LOD. You can find more about point clouds in this video that we made and I'll put the link up here. This ensures every aspect of a building, from beams to decorative details, is accurately represented. A good surveyor ensures modelling tolerances 
meet project requirements. For example, LOD3 models have tolerances of plus or minus 10 millimeter, while LOD4 can be as precise as plus or minus five millimeters. Here in the UK, surveyors adhere to the RICS guidance set out in the measured surveys of land building and utilities. The standard deliverable for a BIM model is a Revit file, .rvt. Revit, as powerful and dynamic as it is, comes with a limitation, its lack of backwards compatibility. In short, this means that a model created in a newer version of Revit cannot be opened in an older version directly. It's therefore essential to ensure that the model is set up in the specific version which is going to be used. Whilst it's technically feasible to upgrade a model from an older version to a newer version of Revit, we strongly advise against this practice. This process can introduce complications and harms the integrity of the model in subtle ways. Such disruptions may lead to errors, data loss and corruption, which can lead to significant project implications. To ensure the reliability of your Revit models, we advise establishing and adhering to the correct version right from the start of the project. In short, always speak with your surveyor at the start of the project and specify which version of Revit you will be using. Additional deliverables can include 2D CAD exports from the model and views can also be generated within the Revit file as well. Understanding timescales is crucial. A highly detailed LOD4 model of a building can take several weeks. If it's a large building, it could take several months. It all depends on the size of the building. A good surveyor will provide you with realistic timescales based on the complexity of the project at the start and can make suggestions on where to gain efficiency, saving you time and budget and potentially shortening your programme. So what is LOD? It's like the roadmap for your project, ensuring you have the right details at the right time. So whether you're planning, building or designing, it's the difference between smooth execution and costly surprises. In summary, level of detail in 3D models ensures efficiency, accuracy and cost effectiveness. Whether you're planning, designing or constructing, understanding LOD is key to success. As Spatial Dimensions, we've created a free guide to download that goes into a lot more detail than this explainer video. I'll put the link in the description below and feel free to download it. You can drop your questions about level of detail and check out our next video on surveying techniques. If you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've really liked it, consider subscribing. We produce lots of different content relating to the world of surveying, architecture, engineering and construction. Thanks again for watching and until next time.